prions are, are quite a spectacular type of protein and they, they have a in a sense maybe deservedly bad name because they cause this terrible disease called mad cow disease. Uh, but we've been working on a, a very similar type of protein misfolding that actually can create some wonderful new biologies and uh, this relates to the way in which organisms evolve new traits. So the way a prion works is it's they're unusual proteins in that they can have not just one particular type of fold. It would be like having a protein that could fold up into a flute or fold up into a trumpet and you can <laughs> fold it either way. Um, and these, it's, it's quite an unusual property. We think maybe in, in the simple organisms that we work in there might be out of a total of 6,000 proteins, there might be maybe a hundred of them at the most that have this property. But still, that's quite a few of them. Um, we know definitely of about 25 of them. And the, the way it works is, is the following. One of those two shapes is infectious. So once a protein, but this shape, you can imagine, is constantly kind of breathing, I'll open it up a little bit. But once it gets started to pile up, it's one of these chain reactions that takes place. And once, once that you have a certain amount of a pile up, then any time uh, the same protein happens to come near it and is in an unfolded state, it will pile up too. So it's a sort of a templating reaction and that changes gradually almost all of that protein in, of that one type of protein in the cell to this different state. And so it's doing something different. The biology of that cell is different. One of its important proteins has totally changed. And then it turns out that these uh, that, that infectious aspect of the fact that it can cause this move from cell to cell and cause this terrible disease called mad cow disease, that in a simpler organism like a yeast cell, and actually we think even in, in us as well, can actually be the basis of genetic inheritance. So we have a change in the protein conformation. It's either this way or this way. Now, the mother cell, when she's got this protein in this, of this type, that cell divides, and she passes some of that protein onto her daughter cell. So when her daughter cell starts to make this protein, it has, the, has a template already there to switch it. So they're, they're, these prions are actually biological switches, and they can self-perpetuate these changes for years and years and years. The cells grow and divide and grow and divide and grow and divide these new traits that arise from a change in protein shape can actually be the basis of, of genetic inheritance. So we always thought of genetic inheritance as being DNA based and of course this is ultimately DNA based because the proteins are encoded by the DNA but which trait you inherit really depends upon the chance of whether you inherited the protein in this form and it'll tend to stay that way or whether you inherited the protein in that form. How do prions arise out of environmental stress. This uh, is a really, uh, I think, probably the coolest aspect of uh, some of the work we're doing in this area. Um, it's all about the crowding of the cell and the chaos that is the cell and the fact that when temperatures increase, that chaos and that interaction gets bit faster and, and there are more collisions and more things going on. So you have a protein and every, normally it would only every once in a while open up like this. Things get stressful, change in pH, change in, us, in the amount of water in the cell, change in the temperature, all kinds of different stresses cause more and more collisions to occur. So it makes it more likely that that thing will get started. And so that then will create, when it does get started, it creates a new biological trait. And so when organisms are not well suited to their environment, when things are not going so well, we call it a bed hedging strategy, that, they, that they, they have a mechanism actually that's kind of built in as part of their biology to change their bets, to place their bets in different places and try something else out. It's only a few cells in a, in a population will wind up doing this, but, it, but the number of them that, do, that try something new uh, increases with environmental stress and increases in a sense if you think about it, it, it in response to the, the need to try something different. Really one of the beautiful aspects about this is that it allows evolution to happen rapidly. So 
one of the interesting aspects of most of these prion proteins that we've found is that they tend to be key regulatory proteins. They, key to be, they tend, tend to be involved in decoding DNA or um, making, pro, ma making other deci decision points about what other proteins to make. And so when one of these proteins misfolds and changes its shape entirely, a whole lot of other things are happening in the cell in response to that. And so you can create some really quite complicated new biologies where you change the expression of this gene and this gene and this gene and this gene all in one step. And so one of the things that's been very difficult to understand about how evolution could sometimes happen as rapidly as it does has been the evolution of complexity. It seems you know, often if you, if you, to get a new trait, uh, you need to have several different things happening all at once. And each, each, any one of those things happens without the others, it's not, not of any help. So having a mechanism to try several things all at once in sudden sort of bursts is, is we think, a, a, a mechanism to fuel the pace of evolutionary change. And we're sure that it's very widespread in, in the microbial world. Um, we have other mechanisms that also relate to protein folding that we are very sure are widespread in high, even higher organisms. Like we start, started working on fruit flies, worked on plants, worked on, on human cells, and we think some of these, these other mechanisms um, that involve protein folding actually provide a completely different way for sudden changes in protein folding to create multiple differences in the cell that create complicated traits.